Hello folks, I'm Fonz. A commenter on one of my other videos asked for help figuring out where to put the WAD files for use uh, with Delta Touch, like where in the folders uh, to put it. I'm assuming to connect to servers, so that's what I'll show you here today. Uh, so first, let's say that we want to find a server that we're going to join onto. I tend to like uh, Doom Shack servers, so that's what I'm going to look for. Always give time for the server list to finish populating before you uh, start browsing. It'll just bump you right back to page one otherwise. Alright, looks like it stopped. Okay, so let's find a good Doom Shack server that we're going to connect to. Uh, I'm going to do, gonna do some uh, co-op today. So we're going to see if we can't find a nice co-op wad. <clears throat> that one right there, what's that? That is, uh, okay, so this one's playing Ev Eternity. That's a pretty sweet map set. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to need eveternity.wad. I already have connect sound effects uh, but we're also going to need 120 skins underscore dot wad. So we're going to go ahead and check on doomshack.org and see if we can't get all, well, two of them. Uh, connect sound effects wad is up there as well, though. Uh, and then the IP address of this Doom Shack server is 45-33-41-203-16-394. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick screenshot of that just in case. And uh, I'll probably just show how to connect to, uh, to the server using both methods uh, in this video, just for the sake of completion. So first off, we're going to go get the, uh, get the wads. So you're going to go on your doomshack.org. Uh, or id games archive or wherever you go to get your wads maybe it's the uh, project thread uh, of some new map set that you, that you want to play whatever the case may be uh, so first we're going to need 120 uh, skins dot wad um, my phone has a problem with with uh, doom shack it won't let me uh, hit the actual allow button to let it download multiple files so I actually have to um, go to doom shack uh, and download files one at a time for some reason on this phone. Uh, like it pops up with a notification, I just can't actually click the allow button. Uh, but anyway, so 120skins.wad, like I said, I already have connect sound effects uh, right there, and epiternity.wad uh, right here. Okay, so now that we have those, uh, we can go ahead and go into my files and downloads and the other one hasn't finished downloading yet There we go. Got those two, and now we're going to move them over to our Delta Touch folder, which is going to be Open Touch and Delta. And now this is the main folder right here, which is where your IWADs, uh, so like Doom.wad, Doom2.wad, uh, Heretic, Plutonia, TNT, it's where all of them go. Your Adventure of Square, it goes here too. Uh, you would put normally your maps and mods would go into these two folders right here and of course your demos would go in the demos folder uh, if you're going to connect to servers using the in-game browser then you want to put all your wads just directly here in the main folder if you're going to use the second method that I showed in the other video you would put them in either the maps or mods folders so for now we're going to put them just directly here in this main folder and so as you can see, there they are. And now we're going to go back over to Delta Touch. Oh god. Sometimes it, uh, <clears throat> sometimes it seems to select a different uh, iWatt. I don't know why. It's like there's a ghost in the machine. Right, give it some time to populate. I'd say that's probably about 
good. Where did my server go? That's probably Sigil right there with E5 M1. The one I joined was map 9. Yes, yeah, so that's Team 64. I don't tend to use the refresh button because it seems to actually lower the amount of servers that you see. But we'll give it a shot. Just cut the number in half. That's brutal. Okay, well, got lucky. There it is. Sweet. So, there's our server. We got everything in the right place now in the main folder. And now we can go ahead and join the game. Nice and easy. Beautiful map set, too. Anyway, um,. So let's go ahead and quit out of that. Now let's say that we want to join it the other way. Uh, so to join it the other way, we're going to take the files that we got. Uh, connect sound effects I actually have in both locations from the other videos. So again, I'm just going to be grabbing these two, but the server does require that other one. So I'm going to move these two this time into the either the maps or the mods folders. Either or works for this. I'm going to put them in the mods folders, or folder, and then I'll go right back in game, and pick the right IWAD. Um, make sure that you get the order of the WADs correct. Uh, I'm an idiot and I don't remember what it was. Where is, there it is. But I think it was that one, and then connect sound effects, and then these skins. Alright, and then we're going to type plus connect, and I think it was 45, 33, 41, 203, 16, Forty-five, thirty-three, forty-one, two, hundred three, sixteen, three, ninety-four. Nice. All right, and then from there we can go ahead and connect this way. And as you can see, we're in the game. Um, so again, this lets you play with. Anybody, anybody using Xandronum 3.0, that's whether they're on a PC, I don't know if there's a Mac version, but if there is, then on Mac. If there's a Linux version, they could be on Linux too. Um, but yeah, any, anybody that has Xandronum 3.0, like you could be on your phone using the touchscreen controls, you could be using a controller, uh, your friend could be using his keyboard and mouse, it doesn't matter. Um, I am looking to start up just a kind of gathering place of people uh, that are interested in just playing with other people that are also using touchscreen controls or controllers uh, just pretty much for fun I think within this in this age of like you know using our phones we have these apps on our phones it's just such an such a time of instant gratification for all of us that we can in so many like modern apps we can just find a quick match you know there's always people playing uh, that type of thing and it's just great for that insta, insta gratification to be able to do that with a lot of apps. Unfortunately, we don't really have that in the Doom community because there's not like a whole ton of people. But I feel like with phones being what they are uh, and with this app being what it is, bringing the accessibility to 
you know, to so many people, just while you're on the go, you could be doing anything, um, and whip out your phone and just start playing, and potentially even jump into, like, a death match or a duel or, uh, some co-op with a friend, whatever the case may be, and I just think it's really revolutionary and awesome that we can do this now, so I've been looking to create, uh, just a, a central area that we can all gather and uh, hopefully use that as just a place to be able to find quick matches and do that type of stuff and to be able to set up that type of community um, because as it is the Doom community is very fragmented right now as it is uh, there is no central location for anything and with regards to PC stuff especially with so many source ports around everywhere uh, and now with Delta Touch being kind of its own thing with multiple source ports, it's like, you know, where do you go? So I, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for a few different uh, good, good links to, to, uh, to have. Definitely one for Delta Touch for those who haven't downloaded it yet. Um, I'll leave one for a page I created on Doom World, hoping to get like just a, a head count for players, just to see how many, how many players we can be looking to deal with. And, uh, you know, see if maybe we can try and build stuff up from there. Uh, and I'll also leave a link for the Discord as well. In the uh, classic, uh, classic multiplayer, classic Doom multiplayer Discord, Decay set up a channel for mobile Dooming. And uh, I've already gotten at least one match through there. It was definitely for some uh, fun times. The uh, videos are also up on my channel for that. I got my butt kicked, but fun times as always. Can't complain. Uh, I don't know how the Mighty Heracross is so good with those touchscreen controls. Like, good God, man. But that was awesome. Uh, so it'd be nice to be able to do that type of stuff in the future. So uh, my recommendation is check out those links. Head over to those places and give them a check. I'll leave a link for doomshack.org in the description as well, just because I really like that site, and I'd like to give a shout-out for it as many chances as I get. Uh, anyway, everybody take care. Hopefully this has been some help to you. Bye.